Hey, hope you're doing great today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a standard operating procedure for your business using video. Standard operating procedure is also known as SOP and essentially is a process in your business or anything that you do in life that's taken into a file or a video in order to show this process to someone else that can hopefully follow the same process and do what's in the process. Now, I gotta tell you that my name is Vova Evan and I'm an active seller on Amazon. I've been running the Amazon business for almost four years now and also I have a business here on YouTube. And saving your business processes in standard operating procedures in this video files or documents is very important for your business. Unfortunately, I found out about this pretty late in my business. I didn't do that from the beginning, although I was aware of that, but now I'm doing it more and I wanna show you such an example in this video as I mentioned and hopefully you can take it to your own place. Now, this example is connected to something new that I wanted to try out, but I didn't wanna do my own, on my own. So I wanted to outsource it to a friend of mine that could help me with this job. So what's the job? What you're seeing on the computer here for quite a while now. So there's this website called 2020, all right? And in 2020, you can kind of share pictures and you can get paid for these pictures if people want to license them. Now, I'm also a photographer. I like taking pictures of different stuff. Not a professional photographer. I only earn like $2 from my photography ever. I actually sold a picture on this website, 2020. So I thought like, well, I have like thousands of pictures from all my life. So why don't I put them on this website? Now doing this on my own will take hours and hours because there are some processes to each upload and I wanna outsource it. So yeah, let me show it to you and let's start right now. So here I'm on 2020 and I wanna show you all the process of how I do these SOPs and please give me feedback if you can help me improve it or I can do something else. Let me know in the comments if I can somehow improve or something you would like to share with the community here. Most of our Amazon FBA sellers, but not only. So yeah, let's talk. So we're on the website and how do I start the SOP? First, I have this Google Drive for this. Yes, for this specific task, which I called SOP for 2020. And in here, I also included a few documents, okay, to help the person that's watching it. So let me explain you what the goal with this kind of process. The goal is to upload a picture here in 2020. Here are some of my pictures, my old pictures from the Dead Sea. The idea is to upload such a picture and have tags here on each picture and things that explain the picture. So I'm gonna use this as an example to show it to the potential virtual assistant or whoever's gonna be watching this that will take care of this process for me. So it's gonna be clear for them to create this kind of process. So I'm gonna quickly show you what's going on. Again, we have a picture here, we have a title to each picture, we have a description for each picture and we have yeah, tags, okay? And me, I have thousands of these, as I mentioned before. So my goal is to outsource this task, like pick up my favorite pictures and give them to people to kind of fill in the information about them. Okay, that's again the idea of this process. So for this, I create a folder. Yes, in the folder, I have a little subfolder for all these pictures, all right? For example, here I have just one picture to show. Okay, that's a picture of a monkey I took back in Thailand. And there are a few documents here to also show the... Uh, person what's going on so here it says hey there our goal is to upload all the pictures in the designated photos to 2020 okay so this is the picture we need to optimize each photo for search while also describing it in the best way possible that means we have to use keywords but also tell the story of the picture so it's going to be kind of a little bit in a selling way right but not necessary however we want to describe the picture and input the keywords the video guide has all the step-by-step -step instructions of how to do it all well. Please watch it. Now, technically, this is the video that I will add. However, I will probably add only the part where I start the process of the SOP, like literally so the person would not have to watch um, kind of the basics that I'm showing you here, the pre-story of this. And here are some guidelines for 2020 regarding best support practices. This is something I just added to this kind of document to give more information to the person of how to upload it. Of course, I'm gonna explain it in the video, but still it's some addition here. So how to title it, what to write in the captions, I put in the amount of charts that we can use in each title, in the caption as well, and keywords you can add up to 10 keywords, All right? So that's how to upload like basic guidelines from 2020 itself. There's also a link that I included here, how to write great titles for your photos. 
and there's another like as you can see here another resource here so that's links to all the pictures that's the link to the google drive itself and also the login details of the uh was a motorbike they're pretty big one and this is the uh, login details now again some websites you have to share the login details and some of them you only give access this depends on you the specific person is going to help me with this task is a friend of mine so i'm giving him my email and password so that's kind of uh, the way i'm going to do it however it might differ for you so these are the things that i have here all right and this is the basics for the standard operation that i'm going to show this is what they get and this is there's going to be a video here all right so let's pretend that right now i'm starting the video for the person all right and currently i am on 2020 so let's start it right now now i'm in 2020 hey dear person so in this video <laughs> i want to show you how to upload pictures to 2020 in order to have them upload in the best way possible and our goal is to upload the pictures that i have in a specific folder for you that is this folder sop for 2020 i will share all the links with you that are connected to this and the video is going to be in this folder so what do we need to do i'm going to give you my account access and then you're going to go to 2020.com and input the login details, log into my account. Uh, I'm not gonna do it right now because it's just about logging out, but you can do that. And once in my account, you're gonna click on add photos. Once you get to add photos, well, we can actually go to profile just to show it to you. And then you can add photos, okay? We have this photos selection here. These are my old photos that also need to have some uh, kind of uh, improvements. But what you have to do is you have to add pictures and input their titles, description, and metadata. So let me show you how to do that. You go to add photos once you're on the account, and here you have the option to either upload files from device or from the Google Drive. Now, I won't be able to send you the uh, login details of my drive. However, I will send you the uh, folder. So once you have the folder, yes, you will simply have to download it. Yes, you will have this specific folder here, 51st pictures. Just download all these pictures. Currently, there's only one picture here. And from there, you're gonna have to upload them from your own computer. So from my device, select files to upload. You're gonna click here, and then you're gonna have the uh, file. Let's just do an example. Let's upload this garlic press here. All right. We have, oh, that's, uh, sorry. This is also, images must be at least one megabyte. You see, we also kind of gotten into another small error. Make sure they're over one megabyte. However, let's, Assume that I did upload the right file, and then we're gonna have the file, for example, like this. I'm gonna show you a good example of a properly uploaded file right now as well. So once it's gonna be here, we'll have to fill everything. Now, this is a picture of Jera. He was a <laughs> Jeep driver for a big travel, like nine day travel I did with Jeeps through Spiti in Kinaur Valleys in India, right? That's the story of this picture. However, what you're gonna see, you're gonna see different pictures in that folder. You're gonna upload the picture, and then we have a few things here. We have the title here, right? The title here is this one. It has 100 chars. That means you have to include keywords and words and everything and up to 100 chars, right? And the title has to explain what's going on in the image. So for example, I chose this title, an Indian man standing on a Jeep in Spiti Valley, Himachal Pradesh mountains in India. So I kind of give you the, uh, what's going on in the picture. Now, based on the pictures here, yes, I will only give you, how to say, you will not know that this one specifically is in Himachal Pradesh in India. However, if I were to give you more information about each picture, then you would have to add it, right? But for this, for example, you will not have to add the location. For example, here is, this is a monkey. Let's, let's try to write a title for this, all right? This is a monkey, a yellow, eyed monkey is looking into the camera on a sandy beach for example yes so we gotta include all the keywords for this kind of picture that we can think of all right so we have like what do we have we have sand here we have monkey monkey is on the sand he's looking into the camera so we just have to think what's going on in this photo in order to describe it in the best way possible also for the algorithm but also for the people all right that's the first thing so you have to use keywords and you have up to 100 chars for this. Next, we have the description. The description does not have specifically, a, sorry, it has actually 300 chars of maximum chars. So we have 100 here and 300 here to describe it even further. So here I said, this is Jera, our Jeep driver in a nine day journey through Spiti and Kinur Valleys in Himachal Pradesh, India. This was a part of my 11 month travel around Asia between 2014 to 15, one of the best times of my life. So here's more personal. There's kind of a story to that. Now, obviously, you're not going to know the story of this 
kind of uh, monkey unless I tell it to you. However, what I want you to do is just describe it in the best way possible without telling the story of when or what happened there. We just want to base it for search because again in 2020 people are looking for pictures to their blogs to their kind of kind of stock footage so they just want to use these for their own blogs or whatever their projects we just give them this they can buy it from us okay so here you have to use kind of the same keywords maybe again that were used in the title so for example if you describe the monkey you can say again hey in this picture we have a monkey with blue eye that would what is that yellow eyes that's standing on a sand and he's looking straight into the camera. He's a very cute monkey and something like this. So just basically describe the picture again, but with more words in the description, all right? Just go broad, like you can, again, use the same keywords, but again, you don't need to use it if you don't have much to tell about it. Just again, say what's going on, but based on more words. So again, if the, uh, for example, the title would be a monkey is looking into the camera, a monkey with yellow eyes is looking in a monkey a little monkey child you see we can kind of go further into that so a monkey child or if you can say it this way is looking straight into the lens on a sandy beach all right and then on the description we're gonna say in this photo we can see a little monkey that's maybe two three years old that's looking straight into the lens of a camera on the sandy beach just go this is going to be better for the algorithm and then we have the uh, other kind of keywords here Right, these keywords are like little tags, so we have up to 10 here, all right, up to 10. And each one is sh supposed to be connected to what's going on. Now, here it says India and it says Himachal Pradesh. Now, I, if you wouldn't know that it's there, you wouldn't be able to tag it this way. However, let's again try to do it with the monkey. So, what do we have with the monkey here? We have yellow eyes, monkey, little monkey, something sand, you know, we can kind of give it this kind of uh, explanation, you know, again, use text to describe what's going on here. So monkey, pet, okay, just go wild here with the tags, as you can see here, blue sky, mountains, clouds, India, Speedy Valley, Himachal Pradesh, Indian man standing on a car roof. Try to, again, use tags for this. I don't have any specific software to tell you which tags are better, but let's just try to use tags that are connected and relevant to this photo. Again, as we can see here, there's an Indian man, okay, and it's in Himachal Pradesh. Here we have a little little monkey, yellow eyes, maybe, uh, <laughs> eyes of a monkey. You know, just go wild here, and we're gonna see which pr processes work better. And then once you have these ready, you can upload the same file. Yes, you can create, let's say, even let's do it now, right now. Let's do uh, a file where it's gonna say picture one. All right, so we have, we're gonna have picture one and you have title, description, and tags, all right? And for each picture, you're gonna do it the same way. So let's say picture one, then you have picture two, and that's it. So I want you please to create this for me for all the pictures that I'm gonna have for you. So gonna be 50 pictures, give me titles, descriptions, and tags, and then simply upload them here. And if you have any questions, reach out to me, and that should be it for this SOP, all right? So now we're gonna go back to like uh, real me, right? That part would be cut kind of and sent to that person, right? However, that's a little process here that I kind of uh, can now transfer to someone else so they can upload more and more pictures. Now, obviously, from business standing point, why am I doing that? I have, again, tons of pictures. I wanna see if we can make some money by selling them. I don't have much time to upload them all. However, if I have a friend who can help me with that or a virtual assistant, it can be really helpful. So I wanna also remind you that this video is video number four of my playlist of getting a virtual assistant for Amazon. I didn't kind of mention that, but there I get a virtual assistant for myself and this is part of my studies for this course. So essentially I'm studying how to do that, how to do these SOPs and I'm gonna have the link to this place down in the description. Oh, sorry for that, just hit the microphone. So yeah, that's an SOP. Hopefully it was clear for you and comfortable. Now up here, I'm gonna have the next video in the playlist of, the crea <laughs> of getting a virtual assistant for my Amazon business. And it's gonna be up here. You can click on watch it and see what's going on next. This is video number four. My name is Vova. It was cool creating this for you. See you in my next video.